welcome back to another episode of Free Will Photos. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a photo shoot that I did over the weekend. And as you can see, it is a banana nut muffin. And I'll just kind of walk through my post-processing workflow when it comes to product or food photography or really just anything that's not people because this is what I really enjoy photographing. So if you're new here, Free Will Photos, we're a channel that's dedicated to helping new photographers learn how to use their equipment and software to get the creative vision that they see in their head. If that's something you're interested in, then please go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Now, if you use Lightroom Mobile or On One, go ahead and uh, shout it out in the comment section below which photo editing software you use. And if it is either one of those, then, you know, awesome. You're in the right place. All right, here we go. So as you can see, I am on my tablet and I'm using the iPad Pro. I have all these photos in here. I've already gone through and cold. I think I shot about 170 some odd photos and I brought this down to about 35. Um, and one of these I ended up posting on Instagram yesterday just because I got done with the edit and I was a little excited to uh, photograph it. So I think the photo that I'm going to edit right now is this one right here. Now, all of these images have been shot with only one light. All right. Uh, over on the right hand side of the image, I had a bounce card. And then on the left hand side of the image uh, was where the strobe was. And depending on how I wanted the light to shine on the image or reflect in the image, then that's how I kind of worked it, okay? Uh, as you can see, the histogram up at the top of the screen, I exposed as far to the right as I could without getting too many highlights uh, that are blown out. In fact, in this particular uh, image, there's no blown out highlights, but if you look at the RGB channels behind the luminosity channel in the histogram, you can see that I had a lot of information in that really high mid section. So I just wanted to point out that that's all coming because one, there's only one real color in the muffin and that's like a brown tone or yellow or whatever, yellows and reds. Uh, and then in the back is a fake backsplash, just a little sticker that I put on a piece of, uh, what is that, foam board. And then this is actually my desk. I just set this up really quick because I wanted something to photograph. So there you have it. Okay. Now I shot all of this. Let me see if I can get to the settings here. So you can see the, uh, the settings on my camera were 1 20th of a second, 5.6, 100 ISO. And I was using my 35 millimeter RF 1.8 macro is stm look guys it doesn't matter what lens you use if it's capturing the image that you want to capture then it is perfect for the job so i went ahead and used my 35 millimeter lens because i want to get to using that a little bit more all right now on to the edit first things first i want to make sure that i get as much tonal range out of the image as i possibly can and it looks like i have some space on the highlight side so what I do before I go in and edit anything else in my image, I'm just going to go ahead and pull my whites over to the right just a little bit. And you'll see in the histogram that that starts moving. This really brightens up the photo. And I was going for a really bright scene here because I had a lot of really bright items. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I will bring up my highlights just a little bit. Not a whole lot because I don't want a lot of highlights in the image. Uh, and then the last thing that I'm going to do, and this doesn't really mess too much with the uh, with the top of the histogram. It does a little bit, but not a whole lot, is I'm going to open my shadows. Now, I like contrast in my images, but this is where I like to start with global adjustments. And that's all I'm going to do there. Now, what I could do is throw a little bit of a curve, but I don't like the way that that looks. It makes the the muffin look over-processed and it just doesn't work well for me in food photography uh, to do a global adjustment of that sort. I like the food to look like you can eat it. 
So I'm just going to get rid of all of those and we'll leave the muffin looking just like that. I'll touch everything up in a localized adjustment. I like the colors that I have in this image, so I'm not even going to deal with the colors. Uh, I was shooting tethered, so I was able to dial in the focus or I'm sorry, the color settings that I really wanted. So I don't feel like I was missing anything. However, uh, what I do want to focus on is getting a little bit more contrast in the image because I like contrasty images. So I'm going to go to the selective uh, edits and then I'll hit the plus icon. And today I'm working with just a brush. Okay. Uh, it looks like I've already tried to retouch this a little bit. I think I may have. Yeah, that's what uh, I'll show you what that one is here in a little bit. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to delete that because that is not, it's not what I want to do. Uh, so since the light was coming from the overhead here, you can see by the uh, highlights at the top of the muffin, I want more of this in shadow. So that's where I'm going to throw my brush and I'm going to bring down the exposure. And that looks just about, let me see. This is what I really enjoy about Lightroom. You get to see it over the whole thing and then you just mask it in. So yeah, I think that's about good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint in. Oh yeah, I was definitely putting more than I really wanted, but that's okay. I'll just adjust it. So that helps me see where I painted that in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this on out. And I think that's about, that's about right. Okay. And I'll go ahead and I wanna zoom out on this. So let's see here. All right. Yeah, that's getting a little bit dark over there. And what I'm gonna do is throw a little bit more contrast onto that side and maybe what I'll do is bring the exposure up just a little bit more and all I'm looking for is to darken some of these areas over here so I'm going to grab a new brush and this time I'm going to remove that I'll come down here new brush and I'm going to darken this shadow and what that's going to help with and then I'll just fade it all up. Ended up grabbing the marker. Don't want to do that. All right. And so what that's going to do is fade the image in just a little bit and I'll darken that by going here. And then I'll increase the shadow area and I'll bring down my blacks. Okay, so now that one is done. And all I'm doing is micro adjustments. I honestly thought the image was perfect right out of camera. And if that's where you feel your images are, then just go with it. All right. Uh, but the other thing that I'm seeing here is I think there's too much attention brought onto this milk. So with that one, I'm just going to go with a radial adjustment and I'll make it about the size of the milk. And then all I'm going to do is bring down the exposure just a little bit. But this one, I'm also going to bring down the whites and the highlights. And all that's helping with is that edge, the rim or edge of the uh, milk there. It was just a little too bright for me. And I want more of the attention to be on the muffin. So the last thing that I'm going to do to make sure that I have attention on the muffin, right? Because the muffin is, is the hero of this particular shot. So I'm going to throw in one more radial adjustment. This one. I'm going to make fairly large, put it right into the center of the muffin, and then I'm going to invert this. 
and I will go ahead and bring down the exposure of the overall image. So now it's going to look like I have a spotlight right on my muffin, which is great. And I'll just bring the edges in on that. And then I'll bring that there. And I think I will make a little bit of shadows. And then I, what I like to do with this particular vignette is bring down the, or vignette effect-ish, is bring down the sharpness outside of that, uh, outside of the vignette. And all that helps with is it gives the effect that nothing else needs to be focused on. Let's just focus in right on the muffin, okay? And that's where I would leave it. So there's the final edit. And yeah. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you use Lightroom? Do you use Light? Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you use Lightroom Mobile or if you use something else. But this is uh, one of my favorite mobile editing apps. And I've been doing a lot of work right here on the mobile screen. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.